This is my iBook G3 which Apple made to fail. The screen freezes or goes black after the machine has been on for a few minutes. Many have tried reflow soldering the graphics processing unit, the chip which I'm masking here with aluminium foil. Most people use a heat gun to do this but because I'm using a propane torch I've covered the chip with a lump of aluminium to distribute the heat. It took about 30 seconds to melt a piece of solder using this technique so I'm applying the torch for double that time. I'm not sure that the chip actually gets hot enough to melt the solder beneath it but it's worked for other people so it's worth trying. Don't do this if you really need your computer. Lots of people have destroyed their GPU chips or logic boards doing this. One minute. Then wait about 10 minutes for it to cool before touching it. Plugged it in, turned it on, bombed, so it must think it's alive. This thing's really slow, so this is a time lapse part. And there's the screen. Turn it over and pull on all four corners of the GPU. This used to stuff it up immediately. Turn it back over and the screen's still fine. To replace the sticky pad on the back of the chip, I'm using some self-adhesive thermal transfer tape covered with a bit of foil. To get instructions for taking the computer apart and reassembly, just Google iBook disassembly. To get a copy of my background track, go to www.abc.net.au slash rn and scroll to Late Night Live. It's much better than idiotic background music that has nothing to do with the video. Once again this technique is not guaranteed and is just as likely to wreck your computer as to resurrect it, but it's a good last ditch effort.